and you've got some short bows and long bows. Yen with the one dual blade. On the defense, a lot more mauls, short swords, pole axes. Ooh, interesting. Amya with his obvious dual blades. And then unit wise, here we've got Fort Abrasio, you've got some pikes, Iron Reapers, Palace Guards. Alchemists, ooh, interesting. We've got some shield maidens in there as well. And then on the attack, short swords, uh, we've got Martellatory, obviously, for pushing things here. We've got some IPGs, we've got some cataphract lancers, hussars, we've got some javelin sergeants, IPGs, yeah, mixed bag, obviously, and then the, the, the basic units that we don't want to you only use for pushing, you know. The only units used for pushing. Let's get the music off and let's focus up, boys. Here we are. Love and Devotion on the attack versus We Are Cleanse on the defense. This is where it gets serious, guys. This is a big bat match up here and this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Let's see how this ties out at the end. Let's focus up here. Zoom up. And there we go. It worked out quite well that time around. Here we go. What is the plan here on the attack? Trebs, cannons getting used. Will we get trebs getting used for these ballistas? Sage ballistas are up still and have la lasted longer than they did in the last battles. Definitely lasted longer. Got short sword versus short sword and GM trying to bomb and take out these ballistas. There's one out of the way. Nobody died to it yet. Nobody's died to a ballista though, which is always good. And there goes the second ballista. So both ballistas are out. It is just the cannons that are all up. Four cannons still up. Also the uh, hawatches in the background. One, uh, this one here on the right hand side of cannons is down. You've got Tesu take it down. This one on the left hand side, the right hand side, one almost down. But I don't think they'll they'll be able to take anything down here at this point. This is all just a delaying tactic on A as well. I'm pretty sure they, there's not really much you can do on A. Tr it's far too trebable uh, on the on the defense for sure. So you definitely want to get yourself. Away. I don't think they're going to take out any of these uh, siege towers at this point. They might take this left one if GM gets this down quick enough. That musket bomb is just not dealing enough damage to take out the the must uh, the cannon yet. But Overlook might do it now. There we go. Overlook takes out the last cannon, and that is us. We are now going to get all three siege towers up. Love and devotion have noticed this. They they realize that is it now. It is the time to send your units back and get away from A because A there is no point in dying for. No point in dying, no point in losing your your uh, available lives. There's only three lives available. And then, um, yeah, you don't want to get yourself caught out. Forsaken Munch, uh, thing was there. Damia's, Damia's going to look for the hunt there. He was, he was on the hunt. Silverox going to use his self as a stun. Well, Amia maybe gets the kill here. They're going to work together like that. Heroes are staying up the top, though. Very interesting strategy here from Love and Devotion. Are they just staying up just to bait them up here? Just to keep them coming out and out? Amia's running outside here. Is he chasing? No, Amia's came back off though. Love and Devotion guys are now pushing up this left-hand siege tower as they are. You can see here. We are clans guys. Not not giving up so quickly. They are just they were just baiting. Like, they're able to stay there. GM picks up his first kill though. GG. There we go. GM, GM you get something there. So your name comes up on the screen. First thing, first kill. A will be taken now. Amya is just rolling around, heading away, just trying to see what he can do there, but he's going to run off. He's going to run to safety up the stairwell. Flynn and Silver Ox is running away, and then you've got Yen up here looking along with GM, just looking to see what is down there in the back. Javan will going to be collecting some units. Winkrow is already set up here. You've got a lot of the boys. But we are clowns just getting themselves set up now. They're going to defend. They're going to be doing quite real good rotations here if that's going to be how they're defending it. We've got Marcelo in the back there. Love and devotion are pushing all the way. Like similar to the last battle, all in one direction. All going one way. 
all pushing down that stairwell, or at least looking to look to push down the stairwell. And Chippy's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going straight up at you. I'm going to go straight up at you. Just baiting the heroes, just baiting the heroes out, in and out. Trebuchet has been called in. Good early trebuchet that actually might take up some of their units on top of the stage. It actually does. Look at that trebuchet. It literally hits their own units. It hits so many of their own units and they didn't even realise. Well, that happens. We are clans are pushing up to the stair and they're going to stay on top of the stairs here with the Imperial Spears. ISGs at the top of the stairs here. Love and Devotion are thinking otherwise. Right, we're not going to go that way now. We are going against that. They are going to have to back off. We are cleansed, pushing our way back. There is nobody anywhere else on the map at this point in time. Hero-wise, we're still alive. Not many much units left. Not many units died so far. Not really much going on in terms of one tribe used. But it's just it's just switching them out. A lot of players going back to the siege. Uh, the, yeah, going back to the supply point here. Changing up units, get re rehab because they they hit themselves with a bad treb in the back, which is never a good sign. I think we are clans noticed that was the case, and then they decided, you know what, we can push against this because they've took some of their units out. So we'll slowly get up the stairwell, put them off a little bit, but they're all set up. You've got Renuk in the back here, going to that supply point, which isn't taken yet. SX kicks and uh, is is going to wait and look for his point. Is he going to run around and try and try and get a kill here? Is he going to try and? Yeah, he's going for it. We're going to watch it for a second. We'll watch this angle. SX is going for it. He's stopping the cap, but he's chased him away. Runix run away. Flynn is coming to support it as well. But Rinky is going to going to run away. Since you kick picks up Armageddon, Armageddon overlook kill Silver Ox. Couple of heroes dying now, and the push is coming in. Love and devotion using the same strategy. They're coming up the same stairwell, going up the same way. They aren't even splitting here, which is what I thought they were going to do. We are clowns just holding the stairwell, going to keep themselves there. They've got palace guards, they've got ISGs, another set of ISGs down below here as well. And some Sergi, uh, Senjis. Is that Senjis? They've got some flamers, they've definitely got some Senjis. But. Overall, just holding on the stairwell. Stairwell, the reason they're staying on the stairwell as well is you can't be trebbed. That stairwell will not be trebbed. You might get sneak one in it, but if you're going to do that, you're going to hit a lot of the units on the top. Love of Devotion have just decided that's it. We'll go full in. They sent the palace guards in for the charge. Lots of palace guards charging and embracing. Mixer picks up a kill there. Mix you, sorry, Mix you picks up a kill there against Forsaken. Munchuk. But the Flamers and the Sanjis putting in some work at the back here. All the flamers ripping up the stairwell. Love of devotion, guys. Are stuck on the stairwell here. Rink kicks up a pill. He kicks up Dunker. Heroes are dying, but it's 13 to 13. It's an even match up here. We are even for even. It's a good push. Good idea for here from Love and Devotion. Are they going to keep pushing forward with it? But Javamil brings up his units. Lots more units coming up. ISGs are moving forward here. Lots of clusters up here but it's still 13 v 13 still 14 tribes left available as well and obviously we're seeing javcav throwing their javelins up at the top of the stairwell Fort brasho at the top here are holding their own at the top units can't push any further forward but also heroes can't push up further forward enough to kind of break up the, the Fort brasho there javelin sergeants at the top and senji's at the top here from love and devotion as well but a fair trade a fair trade i think out of that no no major losses on either side. Also a few hero kills on either side picked up, but we're we're pretty much even. Four and four deaths on either side. It's looking pretty even. We are clans are pushing up off of the stairwell though. They're gonna push away and try and get some hero kills off. Armageddon picks gets picked up. B is being taken though for a little bit, but there's a wee switch around. Overlook dies. No idea who was over at B, but they were rotating off a little bit. We are clans having to come back. Amya picks up Nami, which was the guy on B. Samurai Kek W picks up the supply point on the top. And now they're going to have to reset Love and Devotion for the attack here. They're down to 12. 15 on the attack. Uh, the defense is still available. 
But where are seven seven deaths on the side of the attack for love and devotion, and only four deaths in the the defensive side. Good rotations. They noticed the B cap. It was a slightly capped. It wasn't a major cap, but B got a full send of defense back and forward. But it was a good idea. It was a good idea there as the as the long bow to go on and try and pick up a wee bit of cap and see if they can do anything with it. Now we're just going to see a different setup here of where they're going. They're coming in through the gateway and they're all going through the gate. Interesting here, this is it. They're going for B now. They're full sending B. And we're going to try and get low into this battle here. They've got Palace Guards in the gateway. They've got Fort Brash. They've also got Flamers set up here in the back for Love and Devotion. If they start moving forward slowly with them Flamers, they might do some good work. Lots of Palace Guards, but here comes some Jav Cav. There's some Senji grenades getting chucked from Love and Devotion and from We Are Cleanse. Lots of Senjis, both sides. Nothing can be used here bar from Flamers, but the Flamers are far too far back, I think, to be doing any damage. They need to be pushed forward a little bit. They're way back here. Only two of them left. Samurai Kick W pushing. Javelin Sergeants are in the back still there as well. But if we look at the map here, it's just all full sending here. Elak goes false to his death. There goes Hiller, Papa Bear. The attack are losing numbers. They're down to 11 on the attack. And this view is not very good here. Pushing out from We Are Cleanse. They are slowly pushing. Well, I would say slowly, but it's pretty quickly. Pushing out the attack of Love and Devotion. They're down to 8 alive. Amya going out here trying to pick up the Sanjis that are de retreating with the units, and now you can set up here at the front. Where's the setup now? Love and Devotion going up on this stairwell here to see. There's a set of ISGs and Fort Abrasio coming to the seaside. GM is trying to jump in the back. He's trying to cross the distraction, but he will fall to his death. Yen jumps into the battle here, trying to jump in and out, but he will run away. Jim shows that he's dead there. Down to 10 alive though on the attack. Yen will falter to his death. Silverox picks him off. It was dual blade v dual blade. No, short blade v dual blade. Still going in through the gateway though. The front gate is an interesting strategy and a very, very strong setup here for We Are Cleanse there as well. So, Love and Devotion trying to take them out and bring as many players back as possible. Marcelo falls to his death there. We were picking up the kill there from the Balfi and Javamil staying in the fight here, but Love and Devotion with the units and the hero advantage here. Javamil, will he retreat? He will retreat. Javamil pushing his wave back, but Javamil will fall. Hitting the back here from GM. There's only 1 minute 58 left. And on the setup here, you've got a set of modals inside the gate. 4B already set up. Will this be a push that goes in well for Love and Devotion? They're going to have to get something in to wipe these out. To grab the point, it is only B with 1 minute 40 left. B is the only thing that is viable here in the fight. You've got IPGs pushing off of the point. If these IPGs can keep themselves marching forward and everybody pushes forward from Love and Devotion, they might be able to hold off B and keep units set up. They are capping B with 1 minute 24. They can cap B here if they're clever, if they hold off as much as possible. Units and heroes are jumping into the point here. Cav coming in. Trebs coming in as well. Will the Trebs do anything here? We've got one minute left. And it's a full push. The Trebs are getting hit. Units are getting taken out from We Are Cleanse. But there is only three heroes alive. And on that push from Love and Devotion, We Are Cleanse show their dominance on a hero kills here. And they just push everybody out. The only two heroes alive are the ones that are left here. Yen will die. I know. Samurai Keg W is the last one alive. Is he going to stay in the fight? He's going to stay and let himself die. On terms, that is it for We Are Cleanse. Great job on the defense. Great rotations. Interesting strategies from Love and Devotion. This map is not a very well attacker friendly. Um, but you definitely can't attack it in one cluster. And as you see, the last battles that have been done. And the last attacks, when they go in one way, it does not work. It does not pay off at all. Just going in one place. 
You have to be splitting near the defence. You have to be going and trying winning their, their battles on either side and then use that as a flank and method. Congrats there for We Are Clans. That's a solid defence. 11 heroes died from We Are Clans in comparison to the 32 on the the, 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 the attacking side. GM done a good event of work. Seen his name pop up a few times. He did get first blood. He did get a couple of hero kills. He gets there with an A link with an A plus on the attack. But Tian Shu with the MVP on the defensive side. Boys putting in work on the defence. Rotating very well. Lots of hero kills here for Junko and Wero. And hero kills for Wero as well. Silverox has the short bow. Picking up all them kills. Six hero kills. I'm um, yeah, actually only five hero kills this time now. Not the most amount of hero kills that you normally see Amya get, but that was a good first battle. Very, very good first battle. We're going to be fading into the next battle. It is going to be switched around. Remember, guys, exclamation mark CB rivals in the chat for your chance to win 525 sovereigns. Giveaway is up. Please, exclamation mark CB rivals, guys. Got a chance to win with only 80 people in the chat for the chat. But this is not many people in the chat for the chat. Definitely get yourself involved. Get yourself over, get yourself in, hit that follow button if you haven't already. Because you have to be a follower to win. We are going to be swapping it over here. On the attack now is going to be We Are Cleanse. And on the defence is love and devotion this time around. Like I say, is at the start, both are solid houses. A very difficult map to attack. But love and devotion, how are you going to do on the defence of it? Will you guys be able to hold just as well as the, your alliance members? We are cleansed this time around. It's going to be interesting to see how this pans out for this matchup. Both solid teams and we saw there how well both of them done. 